where they can flick through and be like, oh, why do I have headaches all the time since that thing happened? Or yeah. like, oh, why do I hate myself? Or like, why do I isolate myself? You know, like, and so it's an A to Z of traumas, trauma responses, coping mechanisms, and then the physiological ways that will manifest. So we looked at all of the research on things like the way that, I don't know, like IBS, for example, so irritable bowel syndrome can be exasperated or mm. it can be um, caused by, you know, like, I suppose, constantly being in that level of distress. But we also looked at really interesting things like, um, you know, hair cycles, like, for example, you know, lots of people lose hair after a really uh, distressing or traumatic event but very often you won't see hair loss for about three months because of the way hair cycles work so mm. what will happen is someone will go through something really traumatic and then several months later they'll notice hair loss and they'll be like what's happening to me why is my hair falling out there's nothing happening to me right now and yeah. it's like well yeah because that big trauma that affected your nervous system was months ago but it takes that long for the hair cycle to be impacted right why do i keep trying to yawn and nothing happens <laughs> so we included really interesting things in there about you know all different health problems but all different coping mechanisms that we all develop mm. you know because trauma is complicated and then in order for us all to cope with our feelings, we all develop different kinds of coping yeah, mechanisms. Yeah. You know, I've known people that have been incredibly traumatized and their life has been changed by having an allotment. Like yeah, never had yeah. any therapy, never been to a doctor, got an allotment, grew veg, and felt like they got <laughs> purpose again. Yeah. They felt almost like the process, I suppose, of creating something for themselves and doing something outside and that, you know, completely changed their lives. And I think that as the medical model took hold those natural ways of us processing the stuff that happened to us almost got ridiculed here's a box of pills or would you rather us say there are so, so many, many different, different ways that you could cope with this yeah. let us help you figure out which one is best yeah yeah and that is a really i think that's a really positive and empowering way to to see things actually